Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making barbecued rotisserie chicken in the Ronco Showtime rotisserie oven. Okay, I'm starting out with a six pound chicken. I took out the giblets and I washed it. I'm going to put my spit rod on this. You want to start at the breast end and try to get it centered even on the chicken between the top and the bottom of the chicken. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the spit rod through the legs so I don't have to tie this up with string. This will hold the legs in place while it goes through the rotisserie. Bring the bird up a little bit. And you want to bring this through the legs, but you don't want to bring it through your hand. So be careful with that, guys. Okay. Now I'm going to take the wings. You see I have this on a cookie sheet because uh, this guy here it's putting off a lot of juice. I'm going to go ahead and fold these wings back up and under. Okay, now that I have my wings tucked up under, and we'll see how they do. I might have to wrap a little string around them. I don't know yet. I have some barbecue wing seasoning here. I've used this before. This is Walmart's brand. I'm going to go ahead and hit the bird with that. Really generous. Get them all the way on the cookie sheet. rub that in good. You just want to season up really good with that barbecue seasoning. I'm going to take the leftover and get it down in the cavity of the bird because as this rotisserie is around the juices are going to be running from the inside out. I just want to hit the legs here. Okay now I'm going to take the other end of my spit rod and put it on here and I'm going to go wash my hands up. Okay now I have my chicken all seasoned up and on the spit rod I'm going to go ahead and load it into the oven. Push it back in there. Check my wings here, make sure that they're going to stay in place. Okay, I'm going to close my door. Okay, this is a six pound bird, it's 20 minutes per pound, so it's going to take two hours. So I'm just going to turn my dial over here to two hours. We're going to keep an eye on this bird with the wings. I'm probably going to have to tie them up because the other coming on done. I'm going to go ahead and tie them up and then we'll be back. Okay, now that my wings all tied up, we're good to go. Let's get this rolling. I'm going to let that in there for two hours and I'm going to check it for temperature. I'm sure it'll be done. And then we're going to hit that with some barbecue sauce. So I'll be back. Okay, guys, my chicken's done. It was actually 15 minutes a pound, so it took an hour and a half, 90 minutes. My apologies for that. Now I just have the heat off, it's just on rotation. I'm going to go ahead and put some barbecue sauce on this while it rotates in there. And you can see how nice and golden brown that chicken is. I'm just going to slather it down with a little barbecue sauce. Now what I'm going to do after I get this coated with barbecue sauce, I'm going to turn the heat back on and just allow that to caramelize on there a little bit. Just for a few minutes. Like I said, the chicken is done. It's just a finishing touch. I'm going to go ahead and close this up, put my heat back on and give this a few minutes and then when it's ready to come out I'll be back. Okay, my chicken's ready to go. I left it go for about five minutes to get that caramelized on or some. I'm going to get out here and let it rest in the foil for a few minutes while I finish the rest of my meal and then we'll carve this. Alright guys, I left my chicken rest for about ten minutes. I took it off the spit rod and as you can see it's fall apart tender. And if you've never had rotisserie chicken, not this crap they sell in the store but at home, you're really going to have to try it because it's so juicy and tender, nothing beats it. You can see how juicy that is. Let's go ahead and fix up the plate and see what we got. I also made green beans and potato stuffing to go with this. So there you have it, barbecued chicken in the Ronco Showtime rotisserie oven. Give it a try, thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see ya.